What's up, body bags? Sorry for the delay there. Um, but what's going on? Uh, welcome back. I uh, <laughs> funny thing that happened last week is um, when I was at work last Saturday, I uh, lost my phone. So no reviews. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. So this week I'll be doing a movie I'm actually really fresh on because we did it for our podcast recently and I really wanted to talk about it some more and that is Let Me In. Um, this is a vampire movie. It is actually a remake of, um, of, well, I got it right beside me. Let the Right One In. And it is the American adaptation of it. It's uh, directed by Matt Reeves. Written and directed by Matt Reeves, actually, I believe. And stars one Chloe Grace Moretz, my favorite actress. Um, and basically tells the same story. It's a kid, uh, a lonely kid who befriends this, you know, outcast girl, doesn't actually go to school with him or anything, and they just form a friendship, form a relationship, and, you know, he finds out some things about her. And yes, it is a vampire film, so he does find out that he, she is a vampire, so that I'll spoil. And my thoughts on this film, the acting in this film, everything about this film is just beautiful. Like, the, the acting, the dialogue, the cinematography, the, the music, everything is just so beautiful and depressing. It's very, very sad, a very lonely film. I really, really love this film. I actually saw this one a couple times before I watched Let the Right One In. If you know anything, you'll hear on, a, on our podcast here soon. Um, here in a couple days, but yeah, so that is, um, I, I really love the story, the way this progresses, this kid gets bullied, this kid is, um, you know, he really doesn't have any friends, so he's got this loneliness, outcastness to him, he's bullied, you know, you feel for him, and, you know, he just has this one friend that he is able to, um, you know, befriend, and it just, it just draws you in. It's it's very complex because he has this um, relationship with, or no relationship with his mom. His dad has left him, but he says he cares about him. So it just adds these extra dimensions to this character and really makes you care about him. Um, the, there's minor differences for this one, but um, overall, I think this is an absolute masterpiece of a film. This is one of the best remakes. I mean, best as in objectively best. Um, not necessarily just my opinion, but I think this is one of the objectively best remakes we've ever had. Um, it is just beautiful all around. I don't really have much to say negative about it, um, other than some bad CG on a couple scenes. Um, can't really fault them that much for it, though. But overall, I am going to give this a 9.5 out of 10. So, yeah, I feel like this movie is just so, so... Um, I feel like it's underrated because most people don't talk about it. They just talk about the original. But, yeah, ma uh, a masterpiece of a remake. So, all right, thanks for tuning in today, guys. Uh, be, be sure to tune in tomorrow for Derek's review, and then be sure to tune in for the rest of our reviews, and I'll see you next Saturday. Peace.